I love using Apple Notes to quickly capture new information and organize things in my life. It's fast, very convenient, works offline, and looks great. However, I don't have complete trust in the cloud or proprietary applications, and if I wanted to move my data off of Apple Notes, either to another app or just for archival, I couldn't do so very quickly or easily. Now, Apple does have a way to export your data, similar to Google Takeout. You go to Manage Your Apple ID Online, go to the Privacy tab on the sidebar, find and click the link where it says Download Your Data, select the apps and services that you want data from, in this case, iCloud Notes. Click, click, and then it'll email you a link whenever the download is ready. If you've ever done this, you'll know that it takes them a while, and what they hand back to you for iCloud Notes is just not right. I needed something a little bit better, and when I couldn't find better, I decided to build it for myself. In that, I spent a few hours searching through Apple's awful documentation and subjecting myself to Apple Script's traumatizing syntax in order to build my own Apple Notes exporter script which I'm going to show you how to use in this video. You can grab it off of my GitHub, and that's what we're going to do. I have it saved as a gist. Use the link in the video description to go to the gist, and uh, you can look at the script contents if you're concerned about your security or want to know how the script works. I'm going to give you a brief run through um, if you're not a technical user. All right, so this part up here is just a string replacement function that I made. It'll search a string for a value and replace that value with another value. This part here will get a list of all the account names. This will let you choose your account from that list. This will let you choose your output folder. This part sets a bunch of variables um, from the properties of the note. If the note is not locked, then it's going to get the body uh, or the note content from the body of the note. Then it's going to build the file path. That is going to mimic the directory structure from the notes app itself. Here it'll create that directory. Here it'll create that final file name. This part removes any characters from the file name that will be problematic. So there are characters that you just don't want to use in your file names. And then this part here will finally just write out the contents of the note out to that file um, with that path. And then of course it'll display a dialogue at the very end. Simple enough, right? Now let's get into using it. Easiest thing to do is just going to go up here and hit the button that says download zip. And that's going to download that to your downloads folder. Now go ahead and export that zip. When it's exported, you're going to find the gist or the script file in there. So then just double click it. It's going to open up in your Apple script editor. Go hit the play button. That's going to run the script. It's going to open up the notes app. And now you're going to be able to select the account that you want to export the notes from. So I only have iCloud enabled, so we're just going to hit select that and then hit OK. Now we're going to be able to choose the location where we want to export the notes to. So in this case, I'm going to choose just notes on my desktop. So let's create that folder, and we're in that folder now, we're just going to choose it. You're not going to see anything happening, but it is working. I only have about 100 notes, and it takes the script about 20, 30 seconds to get through all of it. If you have hundreds or even thousands of notes, it's going to take even longer. So we can see now, we just checked out that pop-up, this is it's done. So nice. And now let's go check out the files that it made. So what you'll notice here, um, in this notes folder, is that the directories here, match the directories that we have in the notes app. Any empty directories are not going to be exported. It exports in HTML format, so from there you can print or even convert to PDF. Throw it on the Chrome and let's have a look. So what you'll notice is it maintains all of the formatting and the table and it embeds all of the images, which I'm not going to be able to show in this video because they show my my house. The limitations here are that locked notes are not exported, so you'll need to unlock and remove the passwords from the notes uh, if you do want them included in the export. And then of course it doesn't preserve the directory structure if there aren't any notes in those directories. So that's going to be it for this video. Leave a like uh, and consider subscribing if you found it helpful. If you have any questions or requests, or uh, anything else to add, leave that all in the comments. And of course, share this video with any friends who also use Apple Notes um, and are looking for a way to get their data out of there. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you later.